right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Well, we're here. We made it. Oh, let's get some duds on. Go see what we're gonna be doing with the dog. Got all that organization going on back here. <laughs> Well, we just arrived in New Mexico. Just hopping out. We got a couple hours of daylight left. We're just hopping out, checking a few of these tanks and stuff that we had dropped pins. Long ride from Georgia to uh, to New Mexico. We've got seven. We got like three days to drive and glass and look and scout and do all that fun stuff. So. We should have plenty of time to hopefully have Jake, a bull, pegged, picked out, found, whatever you want to call it, before his season starts, zero on the 10th. So, gotta start somewhere, and this is our somewhere. He's right on the back right of that meadow, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Looks like that thing runs. It's open all along the top up through there. Hey, not a bad start. Uh-uh, I'll take it. I'll most certainly take it. First little tank we checked, got one to bugle on the back side of it. Gave us a little squeal out of there. Couple of them. Uh -huh. Sweetness you were throwing out. This is gonna be a learning curve. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you gotta want it to win it. <laughs> <laughs> Right here and go ahead and ease. <laughs> How awesome is that? Dude, that's as good as it gets right there. <laughs> Getting our feet up under us. I'm gonna slip over right here and try to put our eyes on anything that's on the back side of this. Got to had a hail bugle over here where we expected one to be. So we have that. Just trying to build a little inventory here. Get familiar with the ground. See if we can't find some pockets of elk.
just on our side of that tank, isn't he? He's screaming harder than anyone that we've bumped into this far. Mm -hmm. I swear he's gotten closer. I swear I think it's it. coming. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think, Bob? No reason to do anything to sketch uh, him out. We know he's in there. That'll make you feel a little bit better, won't it? Yeah. Makes me feel Just hearing one over here screaming like with a little bit more than intensity. He's up this way to get to the top. Kevin's going about 35 minutes away. So we'll probably be able to spend a, quite a bit of time out here in the dark, waiting on him and listening. I wanna watch this big tree line over here, back in that way. Uh, we think that's where some bulls are pushing their cows up at night. They're supposed to be like a, what they call a drinker or a guzzler or a tank or whatever the difference in all those is. It's supposed to be water up there. And uh, I can tell walking up on top, a lot of elk tracks up here. It's going across this wide openness and I heard some hoofs over here and freaking herd come up out of this ravine or draw right beside me. It ended up being nine cows, two spikes and a little raghorn four point. They come out, didn't even know. I just sat down in the wide open with a t-shirt on and they just kind of crossed about 150. Now they're out here and they're blocking me from where I want to be. And there's an elk bugling on the other side of this hilltop out here in front of me, about 300 yards, 400 yards that I wanted to get to, to look down in this valley. And I can hear a bull bugling down in there and I can't get to him because I don't want to blow this whole herd. I've been waiting on him to crest the hill and they've just been standing there for 30 minutes. So they're slowly moving now, hopefully. Sun's already set, we've probably got about another 15 minutes. <coughs> The little bull in his harem of cows cost me from getting over here and getting eyes on these bulls that are bugling, but we've got two bulls bugling straight down in this valley and one on down the valley, so. Hey y'all, this is Jake. Jake's the man with the, with the tag that starts tomorrow. He's a turkey killer and he's fixing to become an elk killer, we hope. Hopefully, should get done. <laughs> but we are, uh, it's breaking daylight. We're fixing to slip down into this hole where Kevin heard some elk bugling yesterday evening. And uh, we're hoping we can finagle our way into, so we can put our eyes on them to figure out if they're big or not. So. Isn't it 
let's walk on our wind is going that way so let's walk on down his fingers see if we can get one riled up and get our eyes on him jake and i have been sitting up on this little rock outcropping this morning i've been using a recycled turkey call we've been getting a couple bulls to bugle but not much not like yesterday evening some turkeys Here. coming back at the yeah, first. Just chuckled right on the top right there. No, 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 we some turkeys no. responding to us. Yeah, we did have some turkeys this morning. That was pretty cool. They're right over there with them, too, ain't they? They were close to him. Yeah. It's getting a little bit later in the morning. I think old boy's bringing his girls to bed, and he's getting a little bit more aggravated with an intruder across the canyon from him, so. There he is again. Jake and I are back at it this evening. We are going to loop into the bottom side of where I was at yesterday evening. We're going to try to put our eyes on those two bulls that I heard yesterday evening. We got a hanker and one of them might be a hammer, so that's what we're going to investigate. We got a long, rough, rugged ride to get there, but we're slowly but steadily pounding through it. Good loud. First go. Get it, little man. Ooh. You're gonna become a gatekeeper. You gotta remember to close your door. I know. We're gonna take that, end up taking that door off the hinges. All right, let's try to keep on keeping on. Mm-hmm. The rope laid out. Another one picked back up with it, but we couldn't get to it with the truck, so we're gonna make lemonades from lemons. Get in here so we can't put our eyes on the back of this place. up in the timber right there. There's something at the tank. Something just walked out and went to the tank. That vehicle just came from in the timber right there where we're looking. I saw the bigger body when I can see his horns. Uh, thanks. Let me see, let me see. There you go. He's not a bad bull. Oh, look out. He just looked at him. He's wider than he's big. He's big. That's a nice bull, I think. All right, tell me what we did this evening. Well, drove a long way, which was horrible. Rough. Walked a pretty long ways. Got full from the fence. And then finally we saw a couple cows. And then the sun got right over the ledge and you could finally see him. And he was just out over there on that mountain. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent bull, wasn't he? Yep. From what we could tell from this far. Got your coffee, boss. We ready to rock and roll, son. Oh, son. There he is, back there, man, with playing. Is he sleeping? Yeah, I don't think he's awake yet. 
You better come out that cocoon. Oh. We got that 11 pound gun. 12. 12, you said? some bugling out there. Good sign. 45 minutes until you're gonna start seeing it brighten up. Uh -oh. 45 still start getting a little brighter and then be game time soon after that. So that's the wrecking crew we got in the back right there. Ain't no doubt about it. Wrecking crew. We can call in a hit from the wrecking crew. You know they're gonna try and just get those, those pinion junipers in bed down. He's calling you right now, but I don't know what else. It, you know, man, he sounds nice, doesn't he? Sounds big, like I said, it sounds big. Twenty-five pounder. I bet he's 20, 25 and a half. Like an Iowa turkey. Here's what I'm gonna do. While y'all figure this out, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pack. I'm gonna get the big pack loaded up, get it ready to go. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna get out of the little pack and get to the big one. Where did that one come from? That was on the left, wasn't it? Yeah. I got this monster right there on.
guys coming. Whenever I squeeze it, it's quite been shot. You got a hole. I know. Something like, and I saw the damn bullet hit the dirt. Yeah, I did too. But it, like, boom. Couldn't have been any better. Could not ask for a better, set up, better everything to happen. 100 yard shot. I don't know what, I don't know. Oh, well, it was almost perfect. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Joker yeah. came out there squealing right out in front of us, didn't he? He was a beauty too, wasn't he? And the gun had to malfunction on that one shot. I mean, he was a flipping beauty. Yeah. My papa shot one out here, I think, two years ago, and he looked exactly like him. Did he? Yeah. I didn't hear no chick boom that time, did you? Yeah. I think if the gun would have done its part, knowing how Jake shoots, I think we'd be cleaning one one right now. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty bull, there ain't no doubt. More fun he, to be had. He, uh, he's a good bull. That's the bull y'all saw last night, though. It's bigger up Of course, y'all are a mile away. I'm explaining, he's going He's gonna add, you know, they're never gonna get smaller. That's what he said. He said he just looked bigger than he looked last night. I said he did to me too, buddy. Yeah. All right, Jake. Tell us how you feeling. Good. Should go good. You've been. We think we got the gun figured out, so we're gonna get in here and get close to this tank. We've been watching these elk around for the last two evenings, and we're hoping the same old boy comes strolling on by. One bigger won't hurt. No, We've got everybody nestled under this pinion here. We are real close to where those elk have been coming out to water in the evenings. 
too risky. I just don't think we got the time. We got about 16 minutes. Oh, I don't, he had white horns. So I, can, I can see his horns up there. And his horns were turning and then he was turning and he turning. That help is coming closer. Come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. Dude, and I was asking Jay, I was like, Jay, can you see through that scope well enough? I mean, can you see good, good? Yeah, I think. And uh, I was thinking, all right, here we go. I like, am I going to be able to video this, determine if it's a, a, a decent bull, and uh, get him shot, tell where the shot hits. Yeah. Yep. And then I was afraid that it would get on us, and it was going to be dark, and we might have elk all around us, and we were going to have no... Uh, other no options, other than, other than the, yeah, other than to blow, blow them out. Anyway, they're still bugling when we walked off, so they should be still there to fight another day in the morning. 